Okay, people. Turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friend. There you are, here I am to explain to teach and create again. Okay, let's do this the hard way. And I'll probably regret it later. <laughs> yeah, just wanted to say hi. And uh, I was looking at the uh, Melting Memories page and people are talking about making their marbles. And uh, I also had a uh, student by today and was showing him about marbles and he was enthralled. I will uh, go ahead Seems like it's seen a, a good thing to do and make a marble demo. Thank you for being out there and giving me the inspiration that you do and helping me to give you inspiration in return. So, I don't know. We'll see how this works. And again, this is recorded and not live. I know. I, I'm changing, but it has to do with the high def here. So, let's put this down. Make sure it's in a good angle here. Okay, close enough. Uh, yeah, there goes the bubbles wrap that I have on the floor. Uh, now, let's get some safety protection on. I know I've been using this national torch, and I really do like it. It takes me back before I used to use the Carlisle, okay? And that's a good thing in some respects. I like the angles that you can get in on this thing too and some of it is good but as far as warming things in and warming things out can't beat the, the warming out and warming in with it with the uh, Carlisle okay first of all we're going to make a marble right let's put some color to a marble first and let's do a couple of different colors, okay? This is a piece of clear. And that's going to be the core of the marble. Put one there. And one there. And believe it or not, this could probably make two marbles. What I'm doing. Now let's give it, we've got blue, let's give it a red here. This will come out really interesting too because it's already encased and encasing colors it uh, tends to make different swirl patterns. Anyway, we're going to live with it, okay? There's one. And line the other side. That's two. We don't really need a lot. We're just going to do a simple marble here. Now, I'm going to, oops, yeah, that's what I'm going to do is oops. Oh, that's not good. Interesting. I'm going to tighten that up a little bit. Oh, that's right, I was playing with it earlier. There we go. you got to learn not to touch those torch tips after you've lit, lit them because they tend to stay warm for a while. Oops. Come on. Ah. I guess. I'm still shooting from the hip. I'm still going to show you everything that I do and see what happens, okay? I know I could stop and edit but let's just keep going that's the way I am that's the way I play it so you know I make mistakes too I'm not I'm not perfect as it were okay I'm gonna up the flame here okay now I'm gonna layer that clear over the color stripes that I've just done Okay, that's a nice size marble in itself right now, believe it. Okay, I don't know how I developed the, 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 
the idea of when I pull or go down to the bottom and pull upwards, but it it helps to I don't know seal better to the to the stem so it doesn't stress and crack out at that spot. Looks like I've got a few air lines or air bubbles in there. That's okay. I'm going to add another layer of clear to this because I can. I haven't really started anything yet as far as swirling the pattern, but I am going to heat it all up and layer it in quite nicely at the moment. And you've got four stripes happening inside the marble. And now it's all nice and flowing. There is a couple of air bubbles in there that I can see. And the idea is the rounder those air bubbles become after you've sealed it in there, the better off you are. The more jagged or pointed that the air bubbles are, the more chance of it stressing out and popping right at that spot. In other words, you want a sphere. You don't want a elongated pointy thingy. Okay. I think after this layer, I'm going to my fingers are getting a little warm too, so I'm going to switch over. There we go. Almost there, a couple more to go. And then I'll end up adding Here we go, some smaller punties. Five mil, three mil, four mil, doesn't matter. Touch it too. Now pull off this end and maybe layer a little bit. The trick of making a marble so it doesn't stress out is making sure you've gotten it completely hot and molten throughout the whole piece at one or two particular times and then stick it in your oven, stick it in the vermiculite, treat it like it could explode because it can. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let this happen get my marble mold. Now I'm going to do a lot of the marble mold uh, or making it round before I even put it in the marble mold for those that don't have a marble mold. Uh, uh, as an example, all you really need to make it round is a ring. Some type of a ring. It doesn't have to be spherical or whatever. Just a nut, Well, it has to be round. Okay, what I'm doing right now is I'm tilting it downward, and it's and it, the marble is sort of flowing into itself, making it more more bulbous. Now I'm going to heat it in the opposite direction and let gravity work, and as you can see, it's starting to stretch out a little bit. And then I'm going to repeat that process a few times. And right now we got some stripes are happening, but we're going to get some swirl happening right now. Because I want it to have swirl for me. Okay, here we go. And with that, I'm just trying to heat and twist the whole thing. And and one of the things you can do is you can sort of stretch it out again. There you go, see? And swirl it as you stretch it. And then now that it's stre stretched and swirled, you can turn around and press it back into the round. Turn around and put it into a round. Yeah, there you go. Tells you I'm punning and don't even know it. Now again, what I'm going to do is tilt it down and let it draw into itself. Round, round, round. And now instead of uh, stripes, you've got an interesting swirl pattern going on. And it is very, very important that you make sure that you're flowing that glass. 
all the way around. Spin, 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 and spin again. Now I'm going to work on the other end. By working on the other end, I meant down over here. And I'll just put a cold weld here and make that side round. And let it round into itself. So far, no molds. I haven't used a mold yet. Now again, I'll pull it up, push, let it tilt it down and make it more teardrop shape. And then turn around. So like an accordion is what you want it to do. So like wah, wah, in and out, in and out, just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. Okay. Now. I've done it from top to bottom, heated both sides, made it look good. This is another little secret that I've started, uh, that I do, not started doing, I've been doing it a long time. Now I'm going to do it side to side, the same idea. I'm going to heat this side and let it sort of slump a little bit and then stretch, uh, or you let it teardrop down a little bit and then slump back in because I'll tilt it back up. Okay, same idea that you did the other way. Okay, now I'm going to uh, do the other side. Let it cool, well, there we go, cap it off. And you got Not just top and bottom, but side to side. And so far, I've not put it into a marble mold. Now, when you do put it into a marble mold, you start spinning. You start spinning and you'll notice that um, there's ripples. Okay? And those ripples are okay because you'll fire polish them back out. You'll just sort of spin it a little bit, let it ripple, that helps it to find the highs and lows on your marble surface and then you reheat it and it becomes smooth and even. I'll do that again side to side, touch, tap off. Yes, it's you know my cold welds. Sometimes they do drop and fire, you know, and I'd be chasing after a hot marble. That's the way life is. Now I'll spin this way. Okay. And one of the things you can do is look at the reflection of the light bulb or, or your, your light above you the shine pattern and that'll tell you whether you've got some highs or lows or dimples or, or whatever's going on mine right now I you can't I don't know if you can see it or not but I can see the glare uh, of the marbles not glare, glare of the light source and it's coming out pretty nice and even Okay, let's do top and bottom one more time. But if your marble is more or less round, as you turn it round, you'll see the surface of your surface reflection with the light source and where you'll see bumps and divots and swirl patterns going on anyway not swirl patterns but bumps and divots and you're looking for that you know like a mean pot mark or uh, all sorts of crazy things like that but you just sort of spin 
and you can see you got one crazy marble. Now what I usually do is I'll tap it off and I'll point give it sort of in the direction of the flame while it's on the mold like this and there you go marble making 101 I hope that was helpful and again thank you for the inspiration and if you have any questions comments Just tell me, and we'll get closer now. I'll take this off. That's the didymium lens, and I also put a sunglass lens to take a little bit of the flare glare off. I am not going to touch this right now. Give you some idea of the swirl pattern going on. Thanks for watching. As always, enjoy your day. Carpe